Hi guys, this is Chef Lionel from ChefLionel.com and today we're going to do together some fresh roll. Summertime is right in the corner, so why not introducing a little Asian flavor into a salad? I like to start with a peanut sauce, so that's what we're going to do first. I'm going to start with a spoon of creamy peanut butter. I put it directly in the bowl of the blender I'm going to use to blend everything together. Also some soy sauce. Here I'm using aged soy sauce. Some rice vinegar, super important to counterbalancing the uh, natural fat of the peanut butter. A few uh, drizzle also of fish sauce, such I love, very important into Asian cuisine, specifically Vietnamese cuisine. A spoon of sugar, white sugar perhaps, will give you a nice balance and give you back the natural sweetness. A little bit of water, huh? to water down all the sauces are very salty, so you need something to water them down. I put also a little bit of sesame oil, I like the sesame flavor in inside the sauce, and some sriracha, one of my favorite. Alright, I think this is ready now to be blended. I'm using a magic boiler, of course you can use any blender you like. I like those little guys, they're very handy. Here it is, my peanut sauce, it's ready. You can leave it room temperature if you continue eating in the next uh, few minutes, otherwise you can put them in the refrigerator. It's good for a few days. Here perhaps I'm just gonna reverse it into a nice bowl to keep it on the side of the kitchen. It's time now to making the vermicelli. I have some water boiling and my dry vermicelli. It's a chicken fine in mini supermarket in your Asian area. Those one I buy them in Chinatown. I'm lucky enough to live in San Francisco, so not, not hard. After a few minutes, it takes about three, four minutes to boil. I just drain them in the sink and I want to cool them down right away so they don't continue to cook. So of course, when you cool them down, Gonna use some cold water, huh? I have here a bowl ready with some cold water. You can even use ice water if you like. Just reverse one more time all the water so I can drain them one more time. There we go. And they are ready. It takes only a few minutes. Actually, you don't even need to cook them. Huh? You can just suck them into water too. A lot of people do that. I like to give them a little boil. And now it's time to prepare in my tray. So earlier I shred some carrots. You can buy them already shred, but if you shred them yourself, they have much more vitamin still on them. So, uh, and they're much cheaper that way too. A little bit of mint, French mint, super important inside the roll. And some cilantro. There you go. I'll add to the combination with mint and cilantro really give that flavor uh, to the roll. Huh? Some nice spring mix and it's going to be about time right now to start us uh, tofu. Now I'm gonna heat it up my pan and add a drizzle of sesame oil. I'm gonna add my sriracha and tofu really doesn't smell like much so it's a great opportunity for you to add some of those Asian flavor to give a nice nice extra you know savory flavor to it since it's a roll uh, mostly salad and peanut sauce you really need those tofu to get the punch of flavor there I'm adding a little of my secret weapons such as osin sauce My ocean sauce and the next one my fish sauce so basically all savory 
very very salty sauces that is going to be absorbed by the tofu and give that nice great texture flavor into the dishes at the end uh, need a nice sear and turn them all around give a chance to the other side to suck in all the sauces so you want to go pretty high on temperature here I'm on uh, high heat because otherwise uh, it can easily boil the tofu has a lot of moisture in them so uh, that moisture can come out so if you're too low on temperature you're not going to get that nice sear and please stay in front of it it can go very quick and you can burn it uh, very easily specifically after you add the soy sauce you reduce and you can burn so uh, be aware finishing with a little more soy sauce Everything is ready. Look at those beautiful little salad. You can just serve it like, as it is, like this, and let uh, your friends, your guests, uh, roll their own rolls. And now we're gonna simply take some rice paper and dip it in the warm water for a few seconds just to soften them up a little. That should do. Now I place it on my cutting board. The trick is to start with the protein first so when you finish rolling your fresh roll you can see the protein uh, on the top. Uh, after that it really is up to you. Uh, I'm gonna start with a little shredded carrots with a little bit of the noodles. So the noodles I like to cut them a few times so they're not too hard to uh, pull it apart otherwise they're very long. A little bit of cilantro, a little bit of mint. I like those herbs they give you a nice fresh flavor into the roll some spring mix salad. You can use romaine too if you prefer. I like the spring mix. And now it's time to roll it. So for roll it, it's pretty much just like a burrito. You fold the center up, uh, the two sides, and you just roll it nice and tight. And if you screwed up, it's no problem. Just start over. And here it is. Thank you so much for watching. That was Chef Lionel from ChefLionel.com. Keep on eating and see you next time.